It's so good to see you, man. I want to take a minute of your time with this blog, and I want to answer a question, or ask a question. What makes a leader? And you know, when that question uh, came up in my mind, I, I started reading a book by Dave Kraft. And the title of that book is Leaders Who Last. And as I read that book, uh, I'm more convinced that you make leaders by showing leadership in your own life. You know, once a vision is very clear in your mind and in your heart, and, and you're communicating that convincingly to those who follow you, so that they understand what it is that you see in your mind, then the final step for a leader is to walk the talk. If we don't demonstrate that, why should people that we lead think it's important in their lives? Well, you guys, it's a matter of putting flesh onto our vision. And that flesh is you and I. Here's where integrity comes in. By God's grace, I need to practice what I preach or do and walk the talk. So many people used to tell me, and I know they've told you this too, and that is, don't do as I do, but do as I say. Let's face it, talking it without walking it just doesn't work in the long haul. People who, who follow us will do as we do, not as we say. And when they get tired of doing what we're not doing, we'll be making that long walk all by ourselves. People who follow us do as we do, not as we say. I just love the vision that Paul casts in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, when he says, For this reason I have sent Timothy to you, who is my beloved faithful son in the Lord, who will remain, excuse me, who will remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach everywhere in the church. Well, guys, that's it. Being a living epistle of your dreams. To hear it from my lips is one thing but to see it in my life is quite another. Successful leaders consistently model their vision, realizing that more is caught than taught. You've heard that before. So let your life burn in living color with your dreams. You know, it's, it, it is a careful blend of communicating with your lips and living with your life what a leader is. So I ask the question again, what is a leader? Well, he's a person who clearly sees the vision, convincingly communicates that vision, and models it consistently in his own life. So men, live the vision. Live the vision. God bless you all.